is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Welcome to Beginning Algebra. And don't forget that B stands for Big Time. Anyway, some of you are taking this class at home, some of you are taking it online, and some of you are in the classroom. Now, for those of you that are taking it at home, you had to have signed up for the live video feed presentations. Now, what that means is that I can randomly check up on you and make sure you're paying attention. So, if I uh, go over there and check up on you and you're not paying attention, well, you're going to be in some serious trouble. So, let me get my little magical tool here. And I'm going to go ahead and pick someone randomly from my roster here. So, here we go. Let's see. Who's this guy, Charlie? Hmm. He better be paying attention. from Saddleback College. What, are you tired? Can what? I get you a cup of coffee? Huh? How about a cappuccino? How about an espresso? What? Now, what are you doing? Well, take out a piece of paper and a pencil and get ready to go. Now, and by the way, what are you doing in this class? Did you pass pre-algebra? Yeah. Oh, you did, huh? Well, I don't remember. What did you get? I got an A. Well, that's good. How'd that make you feel? Pretty good, man. I was by All right, Charlie, quit the show, buddy. What? Sit down. What? Get up that piece of paper and start paying attention. So we got to get to work. Pre-algebra is, it's a, it's a pretty hard class, but it takes a lot of determination. And if you need help, go to the LA Pier here on campus, get a private tutor. Because only the greatest success stories in life, they always hear from them asking for others for help to succeed. Now, yeah. Yes, Charlie. Um, can you call my parents and tell them that I was paying attention oh, to them? Oh, sure, I'll go ahead and do that for you. All right, that's Hold good. Right here. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, you're pretty cool. <coughs> Dad, answer the phone. <coughs> oh, hello. Hi, this is uh, Larry Perez. Yes, your son, Charlie, is registered in my uh, math uh, pre-algebra class. Yeah. Yes, he's online. Yeah, I just want to tell you, yeah, he's been uh, uh, paying attention. He did very well today. He was the uh, class uh, class volunteer today. He yes. answered all the questions, and I believe he got them all correct. You're mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, when I brought him up for the class to check up on him, what? he was pretty well in a deep sleep. What? Well, I know I wasn't. What? Come yeah, on. Yeah, I can do that. I can give him some extra homework problems. What, what are you talking about? From the table, it was point one zero x for the quarters, 0.25 times 42 minus x, and then $6.45 for the total combined value. Okay. Now, but we can handle it. Okay, Charlie, what's our next step? Subtract 1,050 from both sides. You subtract 1,050 from both sides. Don't get scared. So bring it down, bring your bar down, your equal sign, okay. 1,050 is cancel. What's on the left hand side, Charlie? Negative 15x. Negative 15x, okay, in the right hand. Hi, this is Professor Bettis. I teach mathematics at a community college, by the way, where you can get a high quality education at a bargain price. Now, it appears that many of us today would agree that we need to make some serious changes to our education system. Although there are many proposals out there, I'd like to propose one more. Something that may just help us improve our system. Let's bring back some of that old school. Charlie, give these people a taste of old school. <laughs> We're going to break it up into rectangular solid. So let's talk about a rectangular solid itself. There it is for you. There's three dimensions here. It's a length times width times height. Now the length goes which way? This way. And the width? This way. And the height? This way. There you go. Okay. So length times width times height. So here is our staircase right here. We're looking at it. That's our solid that we're going to deal with. Yeah. Volume bottom length was given to be 20 inches. And that is the same as a rectangular solid, so the bottom is the same as the top there, okay? And you were given the length of that first step. So the entire length was 20 inches, and over here you were given 7 inches. And so what length is left? Charlie, 13 inches. 13. How did you figure that out? 20, take away 7. Very good. So 3 inches. Very good. 3 inches. 
Okay, so now let's separate the, the rectangular solids. Take a look at this, Charlie. Whoa. Yeah, oh, you're fascinated, huh? Okay, well, that's good. Anyway, bring him up on the screen and we'll make sure he's paying attention. All right, Charlie. You're ready to go, right? Yeah. Very good. You've been following along, right? Okay, yeah. just make sure. Get your workbook out, some paper, pencil, let's go. Quantity squared minus u over square root of 1 plus u squared quantity squared. Okay, Charlie, so go ahead and simplify. We get cosine x equals what, Charlie? 1 over 1 plus u squared minus u squared over 1 plus u squared. Okay, so they have the same... $1.50 per pound. So we're going to mix those together to make this blended candy right here. This blended candy mixture that's $1.35 per pound. And remember, we want 10 pounds of that blended candy mixture. Okay. Okay. One more subtraction problem, Charlie. Let's do 9 subtract 8. Okay, Charlie. What is 9 subtract 8? 1. Very good. And what number do we add to 1 to get 9? 8 over at 7, okay, and we add 2, we get what? 9. 9, okay. Now what happens if we add a negative 2? We get 5. We end up at 5. Go ahead and tell me what you're seeing with those two equations there. Well, if you add a negative 2, negative 2 minus 7, mm -hmm. minus... Okay, class, let me translate ah. for Charlie. <laughs> Charlie just said... Adding a negative 2 mm -hmm. is the same as subtracting 2. That's what I meant. Yeah, we know, Charlie. That's what you meant. <sighs> okay. So now let's do the right 3. And now to get the y, negative 2, we have to move which way, Charlie? Down 2. Down 2. Very nice, Charlie. We're almost home. So bring us home, Charlie. We've got to plot this 0, comma, negative 4. We're at the origin. Now, x is 0, so we don't have to move right or left. We simply have to move which way, Charlie? Down 4. Down four to get to that negative four, and there it is. Once we got our three dots there, we simply draw our line. And with that said, Charlie, do you have anything else you'd like to say to these people? One more thing.